Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, TV Tech Work, and just wanted to show you this LG 42 inch had sound and no picture. And that's uh, this is a model LG, it's an LG TV, it's a model DU42PX12XC. And the problem here in this unit to uh, start out with were the uh, this oscillator here on the control board was bad. I had a red line on the screen, so I replaced this oscillator, took care of the red line issue. And also these electrolytic caps here, I had to put these in place. These are standard through-hole capacitors that I put here in place of these surface mount electrolytics. So seven through-hole capacitors that I had to replace in, uh, in place of the um, uh, through-hole of the uh, surface mount electrolytic caps because they were very high in ESR. So that took care of the control board. And the voltage comparators seemed to be okay, so I didn't have to replace those. Also on the Y sustain unit here, this control card for the vertical scan, it's a high voltage control card for the vertical scan, was bad. It had a bad switching regulator on it. So I built, I usually build my own hybrids uh, for Y sustains um, because uh, plasmas between the uh, years of uh, 2004 and 2008 always had these, uh, these hybrid circuits on them for uh, control purposes, for high voltage control purposes. So uh, rather than go through all these components just to get to that one switching regulator, I just replaced the entire car because I know that these, uh, these are in excellent working condition. And then I had to uh, tune it also using the oscilloscope. Um, and again, on the power supply, this low ohm resistor here was open. Uh, this is a 10 ohms at uh, 5 watts. I had to replace that. These two electrolytics. Originally, they were 1,000 microfarads. At 200 volts, so I put in two 1200s at 200 volts. And this capacitor here, I'm going to change just put a better, a, a better cap that fits. Uh, so a smaller cap. This is a, a thousand microfarads at 100 volts. Uh, put another one here, 3300 microfarads at 25 volts. All right. And then this polypropylene had to change that. And this blue polypropylene at 104J, even though this is a 104K. And this one here, which is 104J, also I took this out of another board. And this one here, at uh, this one is at uh, 6 685J, and uh, that took care of the issue there. So uh, let's see, and we have a nice picture. Uh, let's put the camera down for a minute and get the. Uh, let's just get the menu going. So that shows me the downstream video is working. This TV is very heavy and I'm holding it up with one hand, so let me go ahead and put this down. So that's a done deal there. And uh, so yeah, just wanted to show you very quickly what it took to get this LG model number DU42PX12XC going. And that is the uh, amount of electrolytics and the oscillator I had to replace here on the control board. So it's about eight parts on that control board I had to replace. Seven, seven electrolytics and one um, crystal oscillator. And on the Y sustain here, I to change this card, the um, uh, high voltage card for your vertical scan. I just changed the whole card because these are the ones I built. So that took care of that and replaced that fuse there. And the X sustain was fine, didn't have any problems on the high voltage control card on the X sustain. Uh, even though I need to clean that up, it looks a little dusty. And uh, everything else checks okay. And the signal here, I have a nice 60 volts in my VS signal. And let's, let's test now for the VS signal. I should have about 200 volts. So we got 205. So let's bring that down. Let's bring that voltage down a little bit. And we do that with this tuning pot here. See that tuning pot? So I'm going to turn that until that comes down to 200. Let's go the opposite way. That's going up. Let's go the other way. Let's bring it down to 200. Because that's what the panel calls for. 200 volts so I can get this steady. Okay, there we go. So we got a good 200 volts. Uh, the VS signal, which is great, and the VA signal, again, that should be, VA, we should have a nice 60 volts. Okay, great. So we're good there. Sometimes with plasma TVs, if you get a lot of sparkle on the screen, 
just you can adjust the VS and the VA signals or the VE signals to try to clean some of that mess up on the screen also but a lot of times that can come from actually having bad tuning pots these tuning pots can go bad also and especially some of the polypropylene caps that are in parallel with these uh, tuning caps so you gotta check for that it's, uh, it's very important also here on the the audio section I'm gonna change these caps out because these are high in ESR and uh, this alarm here LED should be green so I gotta do a little bit more um, troubleshooting to find out what's going on it's probably just some bad caps or uh, because these, uh, these surface mount electrolytic caps are a joke. It's unbelievable, you know, how, how, many, how much problems these electrolytics, these surface mount electrolytics cause. It's unbelievable. Uh, but uh, anyway, we took care of this. This TV is pretty much like 90% done. I uh, just got a couple more things to do. And uh, before I send it out the door, and give it back to the customer. So just wanted to share some of that knowledge with you. This is TV Tech Work. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at circuitworld at comcast.net. Alright, thank you.